that they're not doing, they're doing things that Jesus would not do. And then we go through that prayer. Let's repent of it. Let's get our slate clean. And then if we go further, when the Lord uh, breaks up the fallow ground, if we got to go through deliverance, we cast that spirit out. We cast that demon out. And we shut the open door and how the demon came in and bind up this, bind up every retaliatory spirit that would come against uh, us. Now here's another thing that they didn't teach you in, in traditional churches. They always try to say, if, if a lot of people speak in tongues, if they're not an interpreter, uh, then, then, you know, nobody should speak. There's always a, an interpreter in the body of Christ that can interpret uh, the holy language. And if you're one of those people and you have a prophetic gift or you, or you have sight and you're a prophet and you see stuff and they don't permit you to speak, what you see, because what you see will help people get demons off of them. Then you need to leave that church where you at. You need to go where your gifts are exercised, where you can grow and mature in the things of God to operate in your spiritual gifts because your spiritual gifts are an importance to the kingdom of God. It's the upbuilding of the kingdom. What is it? Uh, Ephesians 4, 11 and 12 uh, spoke about uh, till we all come unto the knowledge of him. Till we all come unto the knowledge of him. The faith. So when we come into the knowledge of the Lord, we don't know everything. So that's why uh, we have to learn and all come into knowledge and speak the same thing. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. And when the part is, is a whole... It, when we don't need it, then it's done away with. This is what this is what the Apostle Paul said in the Word. We have to understand, people. God is a spirit, and if you're going to worship Him, you have to worship Him truthfully. You have to repent. Don't go up there to the altar just saying something because the preacher said it. And turn around and go do the same thing over again. Then you didn't truly repent. You need help. You need people to be accountable to. That will pray for you. That would first take you through deliverance. And cast that spirit out. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Not in the name of Allah. Not in the name of Buddha. Not in the name of Krishna. But in the name of the Lord Jesus. So, people of God, understand and please be aware of what you're learning in the church. If your gifts are not being exercised, if you're just sitting and, and God has put a burning desire for you to say something and people squelch you and quench the spirit, leave that church. Because that's your sign to go. If the spirit of God is moving and things are not changing and all they're doing is just praise breaks and you don't see no, no true deliverance, uh, it's time to go. If people are living lifestyles of sin and there's no change, it's time to go. So people of God, this is all that I have. And if the Lord gives me more, I will speak on it in the name of the Lord Jesus. So I want you to like, subscribe and share this message. And I am Apostle Michael Davis, Jr., senior pastor and overseer of the New Testament Believers Fellowship Church. I love you and you have a wonderful and blessed afternoon.